anyone who knows him would tell you John Costas should be dead by now. I'd be dead by 30 was, was a popular number. Alcohol was killing him. It got an early start. Probably around 12 was my first drink. Soon, getting drunk was not enough. My first AA meeting was at 16. 16. 16. I was a sophomore in high school. AA didn't work, nor did any other rehab. Doctors told Costas he was drinking himself to death. Because even when I stopped drinking, I was miserable. I wanted to drink. And when I was drinking, I didn't want to drink. So, and those were the only two worlds that I knew. His last hope, he says, psilocybin, a compound found in psychedelic mushrooms. I was terrified of psychedelics. I never touched them. Yet he signed up for a double-blind study with 92 other participants at NYU Langone Health, incorporating psychotherapy and psilocybin. The results, very promising. More than 80% who were given the psychedelic treatment drastically reduced their drinking. 48% were completely abstinent eight months after receiving their first dose. Their improvement was evident immediately during the month after the first dose of psilocybin. Dr. Michael Bogenschutz headed the study. There wasn't really any sign that the effect was diminishing over time. Through 12 weeks of psychotherapy, participants were given two doses of psilocybin and were given an option for a third. During the sessions, they were accompanied by two staff members who monitored them for possible physical or psychological side effects. We know that psilocybin can make it possible for the brain to change right. more than it ordinarily would. That change is called neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to modify, change, and adapt. The theory, the psilocybin makes the brain more malleable. Costas had profound transcendent reactions to the psilocybin. I saw a liquor bottle in the middle of a desert, and all of a sudden it disintegrates into the sand. And I thought that was pretty obvious symbolism for my alcoholism leaving me. The researchers have not kept track of how many participants remain abstinent. Costas, one of the first patients, says he has not had a drink in nearly seven years. It was never a case where I could just have a drink and then not have another drink. Nicola D'Alessandro also participated in the study. The psilocybin's effect, mind-altering and life-changing. The third dose was like the icing on the cake that completed my experience and allowed me to move forward in life with a new path, a new hope. Hard not to cry. <laughs> It's not that it's you know, a miracle cure that works for every single participant, but uh, a lot of the patients will report they learned something that was very personal and very critical for them to understand in order to make these major changes in their lives. The results are promising, but more research is needed, says Dr. Bogenschutz. If the results of this study are replicated and we eventually are able to show that this drug can be safe and effective and it becomes clinically available, it could impact millions and millions of lives. Harry Smith, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.